Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, I've got a little bit of a cold, so my voice is probably a little bit <coughs> um, different. But um, needless to say, I am doing fine. Um, today, I thought I'd take a look at the new Neptune release. Now, Neptune is a Debian distribution that I had wanted to take a look at for quite a while and always had some problems with their installer and could never get it to work properly. Um, but this new 4.5, they, they fixed an issue uh, uh, that had to do with USB booting from USB 3 ports. Maybe that's what fixed the problem, but uh, anyway, I was able to uh, download the ISO, burn it to a USB, and go through the install. The install is a little bit different than what you're used to if, you're, if you've been installing um, Ubuntu or even other Debian distributions. It's a little bit different, uh, but it's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty intuitive. Uh, no major issues. Um, I found it to be pretty simple, actually. So they, I think they did a pretty good job on the the installation method. Now, the distribution itself. I'm not sure why they do this, but the distribution is based upon Debian Wheezy, Debian 7. And I'm not sure why that is. Um, now, t if you take a look at their forum, you, you, you ha basically have to go into the English subforum, and then you have all of the different categories. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of activity. So, I'm not sure. I mean, they just released an updated version of the ISO, but I'm not sure actually how much work they're continuing to do on this distribution. Sitting back and looking at it from a distance, I it doesn't look like they're doing a whole lot. This is K, uh, KDE4. They do have a plasma version. I did not download it only because I am not a big Plasma fan. So this is the KDE4 and that could be why they're just not updating it because it's way behind as far as Debian goes. And that's creating problems with drivers. For example, I was able to put my um, NVIDIA driver in no problem but I was not able to install my Broadcom drivers. Uh, no matter what I did, they, they install. I, I can go through the normal process, but they just never activate. And so I'm running with my USB Wi-Fi dongle, which is giving me access to my network. However, it's not at the faster speeds that I would be able to achieve if I were able to go through my Broadcom which has a C uh, versus 802.11n. So um, I'm running at a reduced Wi-Fi speed and it's it's still running fine. I think the main issue is and I think the problem facing Neptune is that why would you install Neptune, which has Wheezy? Why would you install Neptune if there are other alternatives available that are up to date with Jesse? I don't quite understand that. Now, I even went through and tried to upgrade from, from Wheezy to Jesse and I actually followed Debian's instructions on how to do that and I was not successful too many broken packages so 
there really isn't any point in keeping Neptune on my computer. It's it's not usable. Um, it's way behind. Um, I can't install things like Kazam. I'm using Voco Screen. In order to use Voco Screen, I had to remove one of the default packages because there was a conflict. And I forget which one that was. I had to remove RECFFMPEG. So once I removed RECFFMPEG, I was able to install Voco Screen, and that's how I'm doing this video. So, guys, this is uh, Neptune. I cannot recommend it only because there are much better alternatives available. Um, for Debian, I think my favorite at this point in time is MX15. Um, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Now, it is an XFCE interface, and so if you're a KDE fan, then you may you may um, as well go ahead and use one of the Debian KDE alternatives, um, or you can just install plain Debian and the KDE desktop environment. <laughs> So, guys, uh, that is it for this uh, re this review. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel, and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.